Welcome to the demo, Automated Self-Service Delivery of Physical Cloud Services. This demo will highlight how Dynamic Ops Cloud Automation Center orchestrates the rapid delivery of a Cisco UCS physical server using NetApp FlexClone technology and Cisco UCS service profiles. In our demo example, an authorized user for Business Group A, Mary, We'll select from a Dynamic Ops service catalog that contains a list of approved virtual and physical machine blueprints. The blueprints contain the specifications for how the machines will be built and managed throughout its life. Machines will be provisioned using storage, network, and server resources reserved for Mary's group. In this demo, we will be provisioning a Cisco UCS Blade server using NetApp LUN-level FlexClone technology. Before we start this process, let's first examine the Dynamic Ops Service Blueprint that will be used to specify how the server will be built. This Dynamic Ops Blueprint is specific for provisioning of Cisco UCS Blade Server by flex cloning a NetApp Master LUN. This is only one of the provisioning options available with Dynamic Ops Cloud Automation Center. The Blueprint's build profile specifies the Cisco UCS Server Pool qualification values for CPU, memory, and the service profile template to be applied to the blade that is being provisioned. In addition, the blueprint also includes the master LUN that will be flex cloned to deploy the OS image to the blade. The first step is for Mary to initiate the provisioning process by requesting a specific blueprint from a catalog of available physical and virtual machine blueprints. From the Dynamic Ops Service Catalog, Mary selects a Windows Server 2008, which will be deployed on a physical UCS server. The next step in the provisioning process is for Dynamic Ops to orchestrate the cloning of the OS Master LUN using NetApp's LUN Flex Clone technology and configure the virtual initiators. Each Flex Clone is space efficient, accelerating the time for deployment as well as reducing the amount of space required. Using the NetApp System Manager console, we see the newly created LUN that has been flex cloned from the master OS LUN. Next we see the initiator group, which is used to map the UCS Blade's service profile to the LUN. Based on resources reserved for Mary's group and service levels defined in the blueprint, Dynamic Ops selects the appropriate Cisco Blade server. It then orchestrates the configuration by applying the UCS service profile template specified in the blueprint. The clone NetApp LUN is then associated with the server by configuring appropriate Cisco MDS SAN zoning and the blade is powered on. Using the Cisco UCS manager, we see an instance of a service profile template has been applied to the UCS blade. The service profile is mapped to a fiber channel attached attach LUN on a NetApp storage array and set to boot first in the boot order. After the service profile has been applied, the machine boots and proceeds to complete the sysprep process, giving it its unique identity as defined in the Dynamic Ops Blueprint. During the provisioning process, Mary can check the status of her machine which indicates that the process is now complete and the machine is powered on and ready to use. In addition to monitoring status, Mary receives an email notification that her machine is ready and available to use. In this demo, you have just seen how Dynamic Ops provides secure, multi-tenant, self-service deployment of Cisco UCS servers using NetApp FlexClone technology. Dynamic Ops automates and orchestrates the end-to-end -end delivery, leveraging the unique capabilities of NetApp Flex Clones and the Cisco UCS platform. NetApp Flex Clones accelerate the delivery by reducing the amount of data that needs to be copied to create the new system image and reducing the space required. Cisco UCS server profiles simplify the hardware configuration by providing predefined service profiles which specify the detailed hardware configuration and the appropriate resources for the job. Thanks for taking the time to listen to our demo.
to learn more about Dynamic Ops or this solution, please go to dynamicops.com. We'd be glad to arrange a meeting or provide access to our software.